In this video, you will learn how to cite an article from an academic journal using MLA-8. There are nine core elements of MLA-8. Author, title of source, title of container, contributors, version, number, publisher, publication date, and finally, location. Not all of these elements will be used in our citation. First, you start with the author. Put the author's last name first, then comma, then their first name. When a source has two authors, include them in the order in which they are presented in the work. So the first author, you'll have their last name first, comma, first name, then and, and the second author will be first name first, then last name. If a source has three or more authors, list the first author and follow it with a comma and et al, which means and others. We are going to cite this article found in the database Business Source Elite. Next, you have the title of the source. The title of an article is part of a larger source, a journal, and is in quotation marks. So for example, we have the author's names, and then we have the title of the article, Modified Oatmeal and Chocolate Chip Cookies, Evaluation of the Partial Replacement of Sugar and or Fat to Reduce Calories, in quotation marks. Next is the title of container. If your source is part of a larger whole, you will need to include the title of the container. In this case, we use the name of the journal. The journal name is always italicized. So in our case, the journal is International Journal of Consumer Studies. Next is the number. So include the volume and issue number of the journal the article comes from. In this case, it's volume 31, number 3. After that, you have the publication date. Cite the month and year the article was published. So in this case, the article was published May 2007. Finally, you have the location. Include where the article is located. This has three aspects. Page numbers, database, which will also be italicized, and the DOI or permalink. So in this case, our journal article is located on pages 265 to 271. Notice that you put PP period before the page numbers. It came from the database Business Source Elite and we've included the DOI. So what is a DOI? DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. It's a series of letters and numbers assigned by registration agency, the International DOI Foundation, to identify online articles. It's like the fingerprints of an article. You can use the DOI to find the article even if the web address it's located in changes. To locate a DOI, you can look at the article's record, and you'll see DOI is located right down here. What do you do if you don't have a DOI? If there is no DOI, use the permalink to the article. So instead of a DOI, you just put a link at the end of the citation. To find a permalink, click on the side of the screen for the link that says permalink under tools, and here is the permalink to this article. And that is how you cite an article from an academic journal using MLA-8.